So hey guys, it is Vlogmas Day 7. We are a week into this thing and it is very cold and rainy today, but I am on my way to work. And first, it's Advent calendar time. Alright, day 7. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're on the bottom. Alright. It's a big spot. We just had a prop yesterday, so it should be a Sum. Oh, it's blue and, oh, now we're really out of focus. Blue and a prop. There he is. Looks like he's going to be carrying a sleigh or a sled of some sort in the coming days. So we shall see who we're going to transport around, Blue. <laughs> And for the body shop, day seven. It's Foster's favorite day, babe. Seven. Ooh. 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 Passion fruit. Oh, passion berry. Passion fruits. Hmm. Very interesting, and it, I guess it has some color to it. I will try this when I get home from work and see what it's like. And Colby's telling me I need to get him some new toys. <laughs> I want a Raising Cane's gift basket, and that is actually Raising Cane, the dog. And he had already chewed off his sunglasses, so Mike just gave it to him. And he is so happy to have it, so I'm pretty sure it's time for Santa to bring Colby some new toys because he needed something new to destroy and he's been carrying it around with him ever since so it's his little baby okay so on my way into work now weather forecast actually did say a chance of flurries today however it's currently 45 degrees so i find that unlikely but i was surprised to read that it said slight chance of flurries throughout the morning so it's only raining I don't think it's going to be cold enough to do flurries, but that'd be pretty cool. It very rarely snows in Houston. I think it's only happened once since Mike's lived here, but it does happen from time to time. So since we've been talking about it, I decided to wear one of my Southwest rings today. I'm pretty sure this one came from New Mexico, but honestly, I was in elementary school when I bought it, I'm pretty sure. So I don't really remember if it was, but I want to say this was from our, my fifth grade trip to New Mexico. And yes, that means that my hands have not grown since I was in fifth grade. <laughs> I can still wear it. So we did go back to New Mexico when I was in ninth grade, but I don't think I got it then. I'm pretty sure this is older than that. Maybe my mom remembers better than I do, but it's definitely from either New Mexico or Arizona. And I'm pretty sure it's New Mexico. Also, it definitely needs to be polished, but I wanted to put it on and wear it today. So it is uh, tarnished, but it is real silver. It's just tarnished right now because I haven't worn it in a long time. Oh, little girl. Hi. Oh, look at you. You're getting so big. You're getting so big. So this is my co-worker's puppy. And right now, she normally stays out on a porch when they're at work in order to, because uh, they don't have her house trained yet and they're working on kennel training her right now but they have two other dogs and they chill on a porch normally well it's too cold for that today so she came to work and uh right now she's having fun chewing the tennis ball off our chair and i'm just gonna kind of let her because she's enjoying it hi dandy hi oh goodness oh hi oh hi all right you go back to chewing your tennis ball okay you have fun with that. So I just got out of work and it's still very cold. It's about 43 degrees according to my car. And at the end of the day, I saw that Starbucks tweeted about a seasonal, well, weekend long frappuccino called the Christmas tree frappuccino. I don't know why they're doing a frozen drink <laughs> to celebrate Christmas, but it actually sounds pretty good. It says it's gonna taste like mint chocolate chip. And that is a flavor I can get behind, unlike this unicorn frap or whatever the other ones they were doing earlier this year. I can get behind mint chocolate chip. So I think I'm going to let my car warm up a little bit, and then I'm going to go to Starbucks 
because I feel like we need to try this for Vlogmas science. But I want my car to be warm so my hands are warm when I'm trying to drink a frozen beverage and I figure if by some chance my Starbucks doesn't actually have this thing that they just started advertising, then I'll just get a gingerbread latte instead and I'll be happy either way. So that's my plan and then I need to go to the grocery store to get us some things and I'm gonna go buy the P.O. box. So that is my plan for this evening. You. Hi, can I do the Grande Christmas tree frappuccino? You said the Grande Christmas tree? Yes. Sure, anything else? That's it. And it's going to be 568. Thanks. You're very welcome. So here it is, guys. It's been acquired. We have the Christmas tree frappuccino. My fingers are about to freeze off. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to let you see it. I guess I don't have to worry about it melting today. But I wanted to let you see it before I stuck the straw in it because they put the little they put the little strawberry on top make it adorable so it's mocha frappuccino and then I think it's matcha and I think there was supposed to be something sprinkled on it but my Starbucks probably just didn't get the sprinkles or whatever it was supposed to be so oh it's mocha but it's also got the mint in it I think so I'll let you know once I try it but here it is all right so I got completely blinded by a truck so I can't really see the screen anymore there's crazy lighting happening but I'm gonna try to find <laughs> but I'm gonna finally try this because I don't think I have much hope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow. It tastes exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I am so on board for this one. <laughs> My fingers are about to freeze off. So that is a downside. But that tastes exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It has that chocolate chip mint flavor this is awesome this is worth it I might come back again tomorrow this is totally not healthy but it's delicious lovely tacky sweaters at the store and some pretty epic light up hats as well <laughs> no I'm getting inspected the boys know I was cheating on them was I around another puppy? Was I around another puppy? Am I am I busted? Oh no. Yep, I'm definitely busted. Oh, how dare you, mom? <laughs> I know. Oh goodness. Hi. You're my only puppy. It's okay. You're the only one for me. One. You're the last puppy. We're not having four dogs. I'm from the store. And this is the most exciting part. I found the gingerbread house Halo Top, which there's a store behind this. Just the other day, at the very start of Vlogmas, Lindsay from Tony and Lindsay and I were texting each other and we were setting up a Skype date or a FaceTime date to chat sometime soon because it's been a while. Our, the first time we had one of those chats, we both got Halo Top because we were obsessed with Halo Top all summer. And so I was joking that Halo Top needs seasonal Christmas flavors. And maybe two days later, she texted me that she had found Gingerbread House Halo Top. So I went to Kroger tonight and found it. And I think we're going to have our FaceTime date tomorrow. So now we both have our Gingerbread Halo Top to eat. That is, unless they already ate all of theirs. But I bought two just in case I really like it. Because there are only three left in the store. So I'm like, I'm taking it. <laughs> Just in case I love it, I want to have two of it just in case they don't restock. So. Oh, you got, you've got you got your I'm cute and innocent face on. I just got in trouble, so now I have to be cute and innocent. What do you think, little boy? Oh, goodness, now you're just going full plop. Hi, Colby. Hi, Bear. Are you mad at me now? Took away all your fun. <laughs> Teenagers, am I right? Teenagers. Our living room is a disaster right now, guys. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Eh, change into pajamas and maybe straighten the living room because I have a feeling this has been happening all afternoon since it's been raining outside. This <laughs> looks like a bomb went off. So I'm gonna clean this up and make some dinner. So tonight for dinner, we're having Moroccan meatloaf with roasted squash and sour cream herb sauce from Plated. And Colby just plopped. <laughs> All right, I guess mom's gonna cook now. All right, foster approved.
And now for the worst part of making me loaf, having to touch meat and form it into a loaf. Not a fan. This is butternut squash with a zatar blend on it, an onion, olive oil, gonna bake the same time the meatloaves are baking. Smells so good in here right now. We've got another about five minutes to wait for the meat loaves and veggies to get out of the oven. The other thing is that I went to the post office on my way home from work and I had two different cards. So I'm going to open those up. And I haven't talked about it yet, but if you were here for Vlogmas last year, then you know. If you send me a card, I will send you one back. So we do have our P.O. box listed down below. So if you want to send us Christmas cards, you'll get one back from me. So let's open these up and see what's in. Okay, so the first one came all the way from the Netherlands. And I have no idea how to spell your names. I see you guys on Twitter all the time and I would just butcher your names if I tried. But thank you so much for the adorable card. I think I'm going to start by putting them on the fireplace behind me. I think I'm going to put them up there to start. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but we shall see. But thank you for the adorable little card. And you guys are always talking to me on Twitter. So thank you for watching and thank you for chatting with me. I will figure out how to get a card back to you. I'm not really sure how to send international cards, but I will find out. Actually, never mind. I just realized I can't send one back to you because you didn't give me your address. So I will send you a card. Uh, I will send you a card through Twitter. How about that? Google. Oh, the meatloaf's done. Hold that thought. All right, so we're coming back to the letter I got because dinner is done. And it turned out really pretty. Looks super tasty. Pretty excited for this variation on meatloaf. And it's a perfect day for meatloaf. Okay, so as I was saying, prior to dinner, we also got this beautiful card. And I definitely know Kobe. She comments pretty frequently. Look at that adorable family, and I love, I love this. I would put this in my house if this was a sign, so. And there's a letter with it that I'm gonna read now, but I will keep that part private, just between us, but I love the card. Have your raisin cane. Yeah. Is that your baby? So I just tried out the lip balm that I got from Body Shop earlier today, and it smells so good. It's passion fruit. Mm. So it's just a regular lip balm. I don't think it's anything fancy aside from just being body shop, but smells so good. Trying my best not to eat it because it actually doesn't taste like anything. So, Santa hat time, y'all. I know I kind of look like a hot mess, but I didn't really show you the weather today, but it was a hot mess weather day. But it just rained the whole day, so any hope I had of having like good hair today, I was like, nope, just put it in a braid and go in like that. So it's definitely... Thursday night. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday and I get off work early tomorrow because I have to work event on Sunday. It's fantastic. So now it's time to answer a question and ooh, this one's another really fun one that I was looking forward to. So this one is from Smiling Sammy. She asks, where did the dog's names come from? I will do this in order of when Mike got the dogs. So for Ash, so technically Ash is Jeff's dog, who is Mike's brother, and back in the day, Jeff and Mike bought this house together and moved to Houston together. At the time, Jeff was a Houston cop. Um, he is no longer a cop now, but he was a Houston cop at the time, and at some point he was on patrol, and I don't know the full story of how he found Ash, but he found a litter of puppies and they were only about four weeks old and they were abandoned. So he took them back to his station, I don't know what it's called, and ended up keeping one of them for himself. And that is Ash. And he is named Ash because that is the street that Jeff found him on, was Ash Street. So he named him Ash after that. And then for Foster, Foster is another foster failure 
where Mike had Ash and he had Fritz at the time. Fritz was his Chihuahua Dachshund mix who passed away a couple years ago now. Um, so he had the, those two dogs living here. And I think he took them to the groomer or he was stopped by the groomer for some reason. And she was fostering Foster. And at the time he was about nine months old or so. So about Colby's age, maybe a little younger than Colby. And he was just too much of a handful for her. She had an older dog. And I guess he was just too much for the older dog. So she asked Mike if he would foster him. And Mike being Mike, <laughs> he said yes. So, so she had already named him Foster or someone that gave him to her had already named him Foster. Because I guess there's a neighborhood somewhere that's named Foster. And... That's where they took his name because that's where they found him. So again, our first two dogs were named after where they were found. So Ash was found on Ash Street. Foster was found in some Foster neighborhood. And so we have Foster and Ash. And it just it makes me laugh that Foster is a foster failure because <laughs> he was supposed to be a foster. And he is permanently. So that's the two of them. And then for Colby, I actually came up with the name Colby. And strangely, it just came to me when I was in the shower. <laughs> We were, we weren't considering keeping him yet, but I was already coming up with names because we were just calling him Puppy. And then I'd just been toying around with names in my mind. And then the foster agency told us we needed to name him because we needed to put out a name on there to have him adopted. And so I said Finn from Star Wars. So I was gonna call him Finn, but they'd already had a Finn recently. So Colby was the other name I thought of. So that's what we went with. And so now he is Colby. And I don't really have an explanation for why it came to me. I just felt like it fit his personality. I am a big Survivor fan and there was a Colby on Survivor. Aside from that, I don't have an explanation. It wasn't a name that I'd been saving. It just came to me and I felt like it fit him. And now he's Colby. I couldn't name, I couldn't name Colby after where he was found because he was found at our front gate. So unless I wanted to call him Gate, <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. I kind of have a feeling that at the end of Vlogmas, there's going to be one day where I just do questions because <laughs> there's so many questions still left in here. Mike is doing some gaming, so I'm going to Advent Solo tonight. So let's see, number seven. Oh, there it is right there. Let's see. Oh, look at the little car. These are the cutest little chocolates. I think I'm going to need this Cadbury calendar every year now. I'm pretty sold on it. Is there baking to do? Why yes. Yes there is. Uh, see that in Vlogmas probably starting day 15 or so. <laughs> Alright, number seven for Kinder. It's one of the cereal ones. And then last but not least, Trader Joe's. Gonna not rip it this time hopefully. Oh, I ripped it. Why? <laughs> Fail. All right. Is this going to be the last one we haven't had yet? We're going to find out. I already know what it is. Because <laughs> I bit it in a pop rock under my mouth. It's another one of the firecracker ones. It's spicy. Woo. Woo. <laughs> so the crazy thing is we had that chance of snow today. But it is definitely snowing north of us. I think College Station and Dallas and everywhere up there, they're all getting snow. And then even South Texas. We're in this weird immune bubble, I guess, because I think even Corpus Christi was getting snow. What? That's weird. Okay, guys, so I just had some work pop up for my Florida job that I still sort of do sometimes. So I am going to sign off so I can go finish that. Because my life isn't busy enough as it is. <laughs> so I will see you guys again tomorrow for more Vlogmas fun.